fucking zoomed in on you. <laughs> I'm pregnant! <laughs> All the way from the couch. <laughs> I'm pregnant! I um, took a pregnancy to Idaho. Go up there. Yeah, why don't you come hang out with us, the cool kids? I was taking my liberties as a newly pregnant woman to just be hanging out on the couch by myself. Well, you could do it. Um, took, a, took a pregnancy test today, and it was a faint line, but it was a line. <laughs> and then I took a digital one, and it said pregnant. It said pregnant. We're pregnant. And then Adam came home for lunch, and I surprised him. <laughs> which I'm sure you will have seen somewhere. Probably true. So, yeah. We're making content now that it's like, we're banking this content because I don't know when we're going to announce Yeah, I know we can't talk about it right away. But... We're going to have to save it a little bit. But that's okay. I want, I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. I got to get a haircut though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shaggy. Shaggy doll. Oh. That's so fun. The little thing. Mm-hmm. The cute little thing. So, I've had like no symptoms until basically like the other day, it was like yesterday or something, I started feeling like I was getting a UTI because I felt a little burning sensation down there, which I've never actually had a UTI, so I was like, I assume that's what that feels like. And then just the light baby tiny cramps, and I was thinking, oh no, UTI, because getting your period, getting a UTI, and getting pregnant all feel the exact same, so that's fun. Um, and so I was like, oh gosh, I'm getting a UTI, whatever. And then today I took a pregnancy test because technically I'm six days away from like my predicted period. And it was like, I just totally didn't expect it at all. Like I had already submitted, like submitted mm -hmm. to not being pregnant because this cycle was so weird. <laughs> well, guess what? It was weird because she was pregnant. I don't think it's because, I think it was a weird cycle and we just happened to get pregnant. Well, either way. Look at this chode. <laughs> I got pregnant with something way bigger than that, let me tell you. Oh let God. me tell you what. It's closer to this length. Oh my God. Not wet though. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'd be like, whistle. No, that's not, that's not even enough. But yeah, that's closer. <laughs> <laughs> This is such a funny little to toad. 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 I feel like that's like average. Might be. Poor average men. Poor average. Poor women. Look at these good vegetables we have on here. Lots of colors. Okay, are you making dinner or am I, I just, making dinner? No, I'm making it. I can make it. No, I got you. You are my hot pregnant wife. Okay. You should be sitting down. Well, I don't really have any symptoms yet, so I'm not like, I am tired actually. I'm not gonna lie, I am actually really tired. Mm -hmm. Um, you better go lay down. I think I'm gonna go take my, wash my face. Do it. Believe in you. Should Are I you take, take them with you? I was gonna say, should I take them with me? I don't have anything else to say right now. Okay, that could be enough. Adam Bye, was guys. really sweet when he, when I told him. <laughs> I keep watching the video, it's so cute. It happened today. We gotta watch it together. Yeah. Good morning! Oh my god, my hair again. <laughs> again. The hair is just intense right now, okay? That's part of it. I'm gonna put this back and go like this. Good morning, everyone! Good morning from your favorite pregnant couple. From your parents! <laughs> Took another test this morning. It was the same type because I just wanted my day to start out good, and it just says big old words. Oh, concentrate. Oh, concentrate. Oh, pregnant. Concentrate. Concentrate. <laughs> Not focus. Concentrate. Come on, you can do it. Focus. I mean, concentrate your nose. <laughs> um. Anyway, took that again this morning because I was like, I need. I need to know, like, every day that, I mean, I haven't even gotten to my missed period yet. <laughs> so, 
But I was cramping a lot last night. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. awake a lot. And I was awake a lot, yeah. On my aura ring, I have like 56 readiness score. So I basically failed. So they were like, <laughs> you're not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I failed the readiness. You are not ready for the day. It's not a test. <laughs> yeah. But it is. And now we're getting ready to go to the gym because... I currently feel fine, like, obviously, I'm only like 10 days DPO, but technically by like the way people talk, I'm three day, three weeks and three days pregnant. <laughs> what? It's just crazy. Like, you are pregnant. It is happening. Your little belly's growing. Yeah, well, I think it's just bloat right now, <laughs> but yes. That could be. That's a part of it. <laughs> vlog too because like this is gonna be so cataloged yeah like this is gonna be so like it'll be like we always talked about like it's the home videos that we share with the world yeah you know because like i'll be creating probably other content for now like on my phone for in real time mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah but look at this look at this is what it says it's like Negative five days, so up to, so I did. I took it six days away, so days before your expected period. I did it on the sixth day, but I guess that was five days, you say? Before the period. Yeah, because I took it yesterday, which was Monday, and my period's supposed to start on Saturday. Yeah. So I took it on, like, five days before my period, and they say 78% of pregnancies are detected. I'm in that 78. You are. You're in a lot of... The small percentages of things. Like people getting it on the first try. People will get it on the first try. 20%. 20%. Of people. And we did it. We did it. Proud of you. Proud of you. Thank you. You hung in there with me. Forcing you to climb on top every day. <laughs> For... Well, we haven't even talked about that yet. But I don't even know if this is the spot or the place to talk about it. But let's just say, it's a my ovulation kept being pushed, and I was not ovulating because I have a pretty stressful May, and so my cycle was gonna end up being longer. And so I wasn't getting confirmed ovulation. wasn't 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 wasn't, and technically it got pushed back ten days. So if you can imagine, um, and it gets a little stressful. <laughs> it's a little stressful, and also we did not give up. We didn't. So we had sex. <laughs> 12 days in a row. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. My stomach just like... <laughs> I'm not going to do fasted workouts anymore. I don't know. I have, but I want to. Because then I get... Me know. No, it's fine. I need... I'm going to make myself some tea though. <sighs> okay. I feel like if I have any symptoms, it's baby brain already. I feel so ADD. More than I normally do. Yeah. And just a lot of uh, echoes in your brain right now. What? So just your brain echoing around right now. Well, I just mean, yeah, it's just a lot more chill. Like when I when I got her name wrong, I got this our patchouli's sitter. I met her yesterday, and I literally she walked up to the door, and I was like, "So you're Naomi?" And she's like, "It's Phoebe." And I was like, "Oh, sorry." I didn't even have like my normal fear like response would be like oh my god i just messed up i literally was like okay <laughs> okay <laughs> oh okay you're so you're, you're like okay naomi <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, i feel like i got credit that too well pro probably the positive pregnancy test i was like nothing can really bother me <laughs> like <laughs> okay naomi <laughs> she's like i wish my name was naomi that's so cool and i was like no no don't don't do that <laughs> i literally said no like don't <laughs> It's anyway, Phoebe. So <laughs> this is my dog, <laughs> Naomi. I mean, <laughs> but you, wait. Did you turn the mic on? Mm-hmm. Okay. See, that's the stuff I don't like doing. See, you can set up the camera, and I'll talk to the camera anytime. <laughs> but I hate setting it up. That's why I like phone because I go mm -hmm. and I just put it up. Why is it so sideways though? Or is am I sideways? <laughs> mm. I don't know. Ah! 
<laughs> okay, so I'm crazy, and that's okay. Here's one pregnancy positive, positive pregnancy uh -huh. test. Uh -huh. Two positive pregnancy test. Hello? Concentrate. <laughs> Concentrate. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Now I gotta do this. Three. Four, okay? <laughs> so, I... She's taking a few. Yeah, but these are the only types that give me a full-on pregnant. Okay? The other ones, like, my line is either faint or, like, I took one today and it was, like, not even hardly there at all. So, I got in my head. I was like, maybe, maybe these types are faulty and just, just always say pregnant. I was nervous that they wouldn't be pregnant. You can see where this is leading. So I made Adam <laughs> pee in the cup and this is Adam's result. Not pregnant. Thank God. Thank I'd God. be asking some questions. I but, either have prostate cancer or I'm much more feminine than I believed. So, <laughs> so four <laughs> positive pregnancy tests aren't enough for me. You need my negative as well. I need his negative. But I needed to know because this, they like, they've given me such a, it's either positive or not, or it's either pregnant or not pregnant. And like, I don't know, I just <laughs> was nervous. But he's <laughs> not pregnant. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm not pregnant. This is so exciting. That means I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a few things that mean that. But yeah, it's very okay, exciting. Okay, I'm going to throw yours away then. That's fine. I don't need mine. Okay. Okay, so oh, I'm pregnant. This is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> I'm, I'm still pregnant. Still pregnant. Oh boy. I just know. Is it too low? <laughs> that. <laughs> there you go. I just know. Um, so I'm seeing my sister on Friday, and my period, my predicted period was to start on Saturday. So I was like hoping to get to at least Saturday to tell anybody. But I'm gonna. Give them the backstory on why it's stressful for you to tell your sister, though. And what do you mean? Because you're false positive. I know. I haven't talked about it because I'm like, <laughs> I'm triggered. That's why. That's why I don't believe these, you guys. So I took. I'm like, do I want to throw the punchline out there immediately? Yeah, I just well, will. I, mean, I already did. So. I will. So yeah, I I took an expired test, but I didn't know it was expired at the time. I was like super super late. It was January of not 2024, but of 2023. And I was like super, super late, um, but I had gotten sick in December, so now it all makes sense. But either way, I was like, oh my God, I'm like really late for my period. So I was like, you know what? Before I head out the door, let me just take a pregnancy test. I did, I almost ran out the door without even looking because I was like, I'm not pregnant. Like, just because based off of like our sex at that time too. Yeah, there was like no way that There you was just like literally no way. So I was like, this feels stupid to even take this, but I'm just gonna do it because I'm probably gonna have wine tonight. So I was like, yeah. Anyway, so then I looked right before I left. That was like, that was like a 40 something day cycle? Plus. Yeah. Two 43 day cycle? Yeah. It was a very long cycle because I didn't even start for a while after that too. Yeah. So anyway, I looked, it was positive. Like I said, it was expired. Do not take expired pregnancy tests. Oh my God, I definitely learned my lesson. Traumatizing. Well, more. it's more traumatizing for me now. Yeah, totally. Than it was then. Like, I'm definitely more traumatized about it now. Yeah. Because if you didn't know this, positive or false positives are basically impossible to have. <laughs> um, with tests that are not expired. <laughs> But I didn't know it was expired. So anyway, that was pregnant. I even told my sister. I told her like right away because I was gonna go meet up with her. That I, I was. Took a video of it and I still refuse. No, it's gone. I deleted it. Okay. It's gone. Yeah. So I told her, and she's like, didn't believe it. She was like, what? That's so crazy. She made me take more tests. Another test. She's like, let's go get another. Took one. It was negative. So I was like, it was just a whatever. Also, also, I read um, that the pregnant, like it says pregnant on the thing, at least for the ones I got, it has it on there for a month, it says. And my positive pregnancy test, when it was false positive, like forever ago, um, it went away after like 24 hours or something. Yeah, it was like a couple hours later. Yeah, yeah. so anyway, it was faulty. But because of that, 
because of that false positive. Because if I had never had that experience, like, I'd be like, well, there's no reason to question my positives. Yeah, I mean, it says right in the box, it's like 99.8% accurate. And now I've had four positives that say pregnant. Like, it's not like, is it a line or is it not a line? It's, it just says pregnant. <laughs> But yeah, but I'm struggling. I'm struggling because of that. Yeah, of course. That's why it's hard. I know. That's so dumb. That's so dumb that that happened to me. It was an expired one. That's so dumb. I hate that because it makes me question myself right now, and I like. I just want to be believing I'm pregnant. You just want to be fully committed to it. Yes, but for some reason, I'm just not for some, for that reason. I'm like, I don't know, man. There's not four faulty ones, so. No. Well, that's why I had you pee in it, on it. Yeah. Because I wanted to make sure it wasn't just that brand that was like somehow faulty. It wasn't. Therefore, <laughs> I am pregnant, so that's that's fun. Yeah. That's the update. Still pregnant. Still pregnant. T Ten hours later. <laughs> Ten hours and five pregnancy tests later. Six. <laughs> yeah. You own that. Okay, I'm crazy. I really need to stop. All right. I hope this was relatable. Oh, okay. I just recorded that without the mic on. It's annoying. Okay. I don't know if it's going to work. I just said this without the mic on. So... I'm not pregnant anymore. I had a chemical pregnancy, which means like a really early miscarriage. I was pregnant day post ovulation 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I had cramping and my boobs were getting more sore. And then yesterday, day 12, they stopped being like my symptoms kind of slowed down. Um, I wasn't peeing as much and honestly that like extra like hormone smell that I had I didn't realize but now looking back like at that slowed down too and then last night I didn't cramp at all and I had previously been cramping every night and I just knew because I wasn't cramping at night like I checked my temperature immediately and it was it had dropped and I just knew, and also I had a dream that I was bleeding. So, I knew. I took pregnancy tests this morning, and they both were negative, so. Chemical pregnancy. So, yeah. Now I'm just, like, waiting for it to bleed. To, like, get this out. Yeah. Oh, sipping on wine. Oh, wow, yes. Uh. So I'm clearly not pregnant. <laughs> not pregnant right now. Not pregnant right now. I um, yes. wanted to give a little update. I think the last thing you probably saw was... Was the video. Was me you saying... Miss Kimmy. Yes. Oh. So, so it has sad. been... What is today? Today is day 14. It has been 14 days since the first day of my like miscarriage starting. Mm -hmm. Has um, it really been that long? It's been two weeks. Wow. It's been 14 days, yeah. I mean, because tomorrow it will be two weeks, I think. That was a really devastating day. Yeah, obviously it was a very devastating day. Um, and I bled heavily, like spot, like clots and strings mm -hmm. for about three to four days. Yeah. Um, and then I was like spotting like just barely little spots till about like a full week. So like the Friday after, so I started on a Friday and then the, the following Friday I had no spotting. Mm -hmm. So I was like done, like Thursday was like my last day of spotting. Um, and I felt really positive that day. And every day that went by, we, I was feeling better and better cause I was just getting more back in my body. Like I felt like my body was like getting back on track again. I'm really surprised that you bounced back so quickly after the physical side of it was finished. Because like, I mean, obviously from where we were at on the day that it 
happened. It, it was, was like so I didn't know emotional. if we were ever gonna. I didn't know if we were ever gonna get over that. And I mean, not that we're like fully over it, but like I didn't know how we would move past it. And it was well, it was. Try. We were really. I mean, yeah, I was like really depressed for. Yeah. That entire week, really. I think I was really. I think Friday, obviously, when I got the negative test, knowing I was miscarrying, super depressed. Saturday, super depressed. Mm -hmm. Sunday, super depressed. Yeah. Monday, I... It just was a level of existential depression that, like, I don't think we'd ever really faced before. We faced it in a different way. We faced, like, poverty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel course. like that was a depression that we faced together. Yeah. That was in a similar, like, similar, what is, yeah. what, are, like... What are we going to do from Same here? Same intensity. But this was obviously just like major sadness. Yeah. Like poverty is like sadness and like... Without hope really. <laughs> yeah. And then and this was just like... This was like sadness and fear. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Because we're like, what does this mean? Both like, had a, a level of unknown to them. Yeah. And so... So I'll say on Monday I had like... I cried like once because you know I I didn't end up seeing a friend who was really pregnant about to give birth and like mm -hmm. I was like bleeding into my underwear while she was like having yeah. Braxton Hicks and it just like was kind of a weird vibe so Monday was hard and then by Tuesday Tuesday I didn't cry ever like at all and then from then on it's been fine except for the most recent Monday was I had my what was mm -hmm. supposed to be an ultrasound and like a a pregnancy like appointment yeah, yeah confirmation yeah and instead you know when they found out when i told them i miscarried they were like well do you want to keep your appointment so i ended up changing it just to a regular like gyno kind of like follow-up mm -hmm. situation really glad i did that moving like just to like i don't need to go Take the too into step, it but like, like basically I was really sad going into it, knowing what it was supposed to be. We were both like sad, but, and Adam wasn't there, but like just, we were texting. Yeah. And, but then the appointment actually went really well and I felt really good leaving it because now the next time I get pregnant, like as soon as I get a positive test, they, she said I can call and I can go in and get my blood tested and make sure like- Yeah, like immediately. Nothing on my end is like, bad she doesn't think has anything to do with my levels but you know she said we can just rule that out and you can just come in we can like test like for progesterone and like whatever yeah and like you know if they're low then we can supplement whatever so i mean i'm sure they see that all the time because like i didn't realize how common and i know people talk about all the time how like we need to talk more and more about miscarriages in the in the journey of pregnancy but I didn't realize it was like actually one in four pregnancies are chemical. Yeah, it's really, really, chemical pregnancies are really, really common. Most people don't realize they even have, they're having a chemical pregnancy because they don't even test or know. Yeah, they're just like. That they're going to be, that they were pregnant anyway. Yeah. Because usually, a lot of the times, chem chemical pregnancies begin the day of when you're supposed to start your period. So like people don't even know that like different and it feels the same until you get there yeah i mean for the most Slight part variations but but, but yeah. i'm sure that they're used to it and so like i think to be able to go if you have the opportunity i think go to a follow-up appointment because it sounds like they really had some good insight for you they had really good information and like I don't know. I mean, you came out of the other side of it very encouraged. I was, well, I was just, like, happy that, like, I get to go to the doctor immediately and, like, rule anything out mm -hmm. on my end. You know, because if it happens, it happens, and it's nothing. Then it was just, like, something we can't control. Yeah. But if it's something we can't control, I'll be happy to, like, go in and, like... And know. And know. For the next time. Or to be able to supplement for this time. Yeah. So, so then, that all that being said... Like I said, I'm day 14 right now, mm -hmm. um, and I am drinking a little bit of wine. Not much, like literally I pour myself like a tiny bit. I'm like already feeling it though. I haven't drank obviously in a long time, mm -hmm. um, but I did pick up some clear blue ovulation tests, and the first two that I took was like oh, a couple days ago, and they were both like you know, negative or zero, whatever their little 
Yeah. It's just like an empty hole. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then yesterday I got a flashing smiley, which means my estrogen is on the rise. Yeah. And then today I got a, smi a flashing smiley as well. I may have flashing smileys for like... Could be for a week, could be for two. Yeah, it could be a little while. Yeah. Um, my natural cycles predicts I'll ovulate on the 19th if, you know... If, 19th day of your cycle? Sorry, yeah, the 19th day of my uh -huh. cycle. Just because I've ovulated on the 14th, I've ovulated on the 25th. Like, yeah. it's kind of yeah. all over the place. So, anyway, we'll see what happens. Again, this is like I'm excited, 14 though. days post miscarriage. Because we didn't know, like, how the cycle was even going to look. Like, no. it's not like you really have, like, a baseline for where your cycle started. Other than No, because it's a miscarriage, it's kind of yeah. like, you don't really know what's going to happen. And just to see your estrogen rise is so exciting. Yeah. It makes me so happy that, like... Even yesterday, it was yesterday was a such good. a shock that it was blinking. Yeah. That your estrogen was on the rise. That you were starting into another cycle. Like, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Your body just knows what to do. Yeah. So very excited about that. Anyway. Yeah. We're like we've turned this into a podcast form, but <laughs> um, I thought, <laughs> but yeah, we, we can't really update our podcast because our podcast is very like. In the moment. In the moment. Yeah. And so this is kind of fun because I haven't really kick-started up my YouTube channel again yet. So this is a fun way for us to be able to, like, Document our journey kind of, like, backlog way. it until we, like, come out with this video. Oops. This video. So, anyway, um, I think we should probably go because we're actually, we need to say, <laughs> we're actually at the beach. This yeah. is not our couch. We're actually at the beach with our family. And Finally relaxing after a... Months of months crazy. of insanity and stress. So, we're actually the ones making dinner tonight. So, we actually probably yeah. need to get going. But, while we were just sitting here, I was like, I want to update people. Like, I, I kind of want to update the camera. <laughs> like, yeah. document. Update our little SIM card of information. Yeah. Got a couple of videos on there that are like so intense. One yeah. of them is a pregnancy. Like, the day surprise. I. Surprise. Figured out I was pregnant, yeah. and then yeah. maybe and then a like couple a days after couple days after, the... and then the day like I lost. Yeah. Food the day after, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, crazy. I did not think I would like be saying this or talking about this kind of stuff. Yeah. But... It's so exciting we get to share it though. So. Proud of you. I don't know how I'm going, but yeah. Anyway, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Upload this stuff. <laughs> Your okay. beast. Thank you. Okay, so I was gonna show you a solid smiley face ovulation strip, but just as I was about to record, it went away because it's been 48 hours and the solid smiley face on those ovulation like tests go away, but I did take a picture, so I'll show you at least the picture. Oh, oh, focus, focus. I'm not gonna focus. Hold it further back and zoom in. Nope. No, like hold it further back. So, I got a solid smiley two days ago on 4th of July, and <laughs> that was the moment I also, well actually I came to the bathroom because I felt a little like liquid come out of me. And that's been kind of happening sometimes the past like, few days before that so I was like okay it's fine I'll just like wipe up well I went to go wipe and I saw like a blood clot little mucus plug like texture um in my little outfit I was wearing and then I went to wipe and it was all blood which is crazy and it's not the first time that I've had ovulation bleeding but this was definitely more and probably because of the miscarriage there's like more blood oh my god this is heavy um anyway um, so that was really exciting. We were like freaking out. <laughs> um, that means I probably, because of the blood and because of, by the way, here's Adam. Hello. Um, because of the blood and because of the confirmation smiley, solid smiley, pretty sure I'm ovulating now because you ovulate like, it says 12 to 48 hours after an uh, uh, LH peak which is what the ovulation sticks measure. Mm -hmm. 
And yeah, so I'm either ovulating today or I did yesterday or even the day before, but I think likely today um, because yesterday I woke up and my temperature was like really low and today it raised up a little bit, but it hasn't gotten to like my base level, but it did go up like 0.5 points. So yeah, we'll see. Um, I did pee on the ovulation test again, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me a zero because it was like, you already got an ovulation like confirmation. Like, I don't know what you're looking for, but it happens in 48 hours. Yeah, so anyway, I just took it again and it's like still blinking, but it's probably gonna give me that like zero. That's okay. But yeah, so we had sex on 4th of July. <laughs> Merca. Merca. The day after, which was yesterday, and then probably again, well, today again. Yeah, we will. Lots of sex. So anyway, but before that, we've just been doing every other. So we'll see what happens. It's exciting. It is exciting. America, baby. <laughs> okay, never mind. I just took it again. <laughs> Do you see that? Another solid smiley. Okay, well. Okay. Well. I'm gonna take it out to see what it looks like. Oh, shit! That's the darkest it's ever been. Oh. <laughs> now we're peeking. Now we're peeking. Holy shit. Let's go have sex. <laughs> see? That's, Do you see that? That's different. That's different. Holy shit. I think I actually got rid of the other one. No, but I didn't. But it's like faded now anyway. That was like when I we first got the smiley. It's faded and it's like you can't even really tell. But we did see a line there. And now, now, look at that first line. Oh my god. Look at that first line. That that dark line is the measurement line, <laughs> not the test line. <laughs> okay. Well, we got another 48 hours. Of Smiley. Of Smiley, which means more sex. Yes, ma'am. Oh my god. That's an intense line. That is, wow. Okay, now that's a peak. <laughs> that's a peak, for sure. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs>